I actually don't know if the sort of sexual part of it or the red room stuff was it was probably more uncomfortable for Dakota because she was the one who was slightly more exposed in those um, environments and she was the one who was sort of naked and mm -hmm. tied to things, you know, and I was usually the one who was like free of all that in a way, <laughs> so it was probably trickier for Dakota. Um, I think uh, I sort of, I mean, look, you, most people are more comfortable with clothes on than clothes off you know but on a general level most people so I mean I guess there's some I think the first time I um got relatively naked was relatively uh, uncomfortable but I can't even remember what that day was but I felt comfortable most of the time I mean I love Sam's one of my favorite people in the world like she's become such a good friend but also we have quite similar taste in music and she would often play music like just in the morning when we got on set and she'd play it really loud to sort of set the mood and then also for a lot of the sort of sex scenes and the um and the more intimate scenes no 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 i didn't i mean look there's a big challenge no yeah i mean look i i, I like a uh, challenge i think you know uh, many people had view this as uh, controversial because of the content of the film and might mm. make some people uncomfortable or whatever but you know I want to take risks as an actor and I want to do things that intrigue me and um, I saw it as a great opportunity to be involved in something that is so beloved by people and so, has such a big audience and was being made by people that I had a huge amount of respect for and I think and all, like Anastasia and the way that Dakota plays her mm -hmm. um, I think she gives her a lot of power because you know she she you know essentially at the end it says no I mean there's no better like he at the end of the the film mm -hmm. Christian kind of loses you know and that, that like she wins and she actually ends up with the power in that situation he's the one that after what he's done in the sort of penultimate scene where he's like really realised that he's gone too far so I think that is quite empowering for women and that um, you know she's refusing to sign the contract again so that she's she's maintaining the power in that situation mm -hmm. and you know even if she did sign the contract it's all consensual anyway so the power is never totally with him in a way Um, I mean, it's not conventional relationship, you know, and it's. Uh, but I do think it's relatively classic in a way, and 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 has been told in some variations before of like two people who, you know, on paper, doesn't make sense for them to be together, who come from very different worlds, but they make sacrifices to make their relationship love mm -hmm. uh, work because mm -hmm. they love each other. So, um, I think we've seen elements of that many times before, um, but it's certainly not conventional. But I do think there's. A heart to it. I do think that he is genuinely fallen for her and she's fallen in love with him and I do think that is I think that is genuine no matter how much he doesn't feel that he's capable of that I do think that's genuine the whole s and side of it right is you know the whole that whole world is consensual and there are the whole idea of safe words are in place so that it counteracts anything going beyond, you know, and it's, it's if, if, if people depict that as violence against women, the whole idea of, of like the safe words is that it never goes beyond the point and it's consensual. So there, it's never going to a point where the woman doesn't want it because if she doesn't want it, she says stop. And by the way, so many men are submissives as well. It just happens to be in this story. It's the other way around. Mm -hmm. So um, it's it's. I, I guess I sort of don't see it as violence because it's people want that to be done to them. So and if they if it's gone too far, they say a safe word and it stops. So I don't really understand that argument. I think it's a love story. I think we're trying to tell like a love story, and yeah, at the center of that love story is a type of sex that some people deem controversial, or a type of sex that um, isn't necessarily been injected into the mainstream before. Um, but at the very center, of it, we're trying to tell a story of of how two people can are trying to make love work despite all the sort of barriers in their way. Sam and Jamie and I really spent a lot of time, we knew exactly what was going to happen, how we would shoot the scenes, what the angles would be, um, so that prepared me a lot emotionally. 
Probably the scene uh, where Anna is tied to the bed, just mm -hmm. because it sort of takes away your senses. I think so. I, I mean, I think that it's such an intense love story. It's almost like a fairy tale love story. It's kind of magical. And they have this insane attraction to each other and this really deep love for one another. And they, owe, they both, you know, it's like a, the ebb and flow of control between the two and what they're willing to let go of and change about themselves in order to love the other one. I read the book uh, maybe a year before I auditioned. I wanted to read it to see if I identified with it, to see if I wanted to maybe try to make the movie. Um, and... Maybe the romantic side. Yeah, and I, well, I immediately, I thought that I was capable of it. I, I understood Anna. I think that she's powerful and, and confident and has such a s sense of self-worth. And I think it's beautiful that she explores her body and her sexuality. Um, I think that, you know, it's just, it's something that she does, that she finds out she enjoys and that she also enjoys that it makes you know, the person that she loves very happy. I wonder if any of those people have seen the movie. Um, I also think that that's not the case because both parties agree to do the, everything they do in the movie. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's about exploring and pleasure and love and n there, no part of it is abuse. Um, he doesn't abuse her. Mm -hmm. um, I just don't necessarily think it's appropriate at the moment. I wish that they could see what I've been working on for so long, but right now I think that it's maybe down the line, but mm -hmm. you know. Do they want to see it? I think they would also, they would love to see what I've been doing, but you know, they also you know, I mean, would you want your parents to see you do these things? <laughs> <laughs>